Welcome back to more Inquisitor. Alright, so we're going to see what we can do about our remaining quest here. Uh, we have to figure out what's going on with Frederick Robstich and his curse. Let's talk to Quarum. Did you know that your master became a victim of dark powers? Someone bewitched him. There is no doubt about it. Pardon? Someone bewitched Master Rapstick? That's almost unbelievable. But to tell the truth, we haven't felt well the last few days. All those awful ulcers appeared all over his body. Who would ever think about he was bewitched? Surely it was someone's revenge on him for doing the job so thoroughly. I'm sure somebody wanted to retaliate on him because he executed someone. Maybe I don't have any idea who it could be. Maybe you could try asking my master if he won't recall someone. Who could have it out for the master? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Yeah. Your sister Quorum believes that your bewitchment could be someone's revenge. Because you executed someone. I'd say you must have many enemies in your profession. Do you remember someone who'd like to take revenge on you? I don't know, Sir Knight. I've been the town executioner for ten years already, and during those ten years many people whom I wouldn't like to meet in a dark alley became my enemies. Someone who tried to kill me with the help of dark powers. I don't know. I don't think that any about anybody. But now I remember that when I executed Hans Faulkner, he laughed at me and told me he would take his own back day after death. Is it possible that the threat could come true in some dark way? Who was Hans Faulkner? Hans Faulkner was a murderer and a rapist who committed several terrible crimes. Not long ago, the paladins from the Brothers of Righteous caught him in the right in the city, and I performed the execution. I don't think I've ever met a human being as bad as he was. He always killed in cold blood, no matter if the victims were men, or women, or children. I hope God damned him. Interesting. Do you think it has some connection with your bewitchment? It's possible. I'd investigate it if I were you. Thank you. All right. Back in Hillbrent. All of a sudden, the game wants to record Choppy's balls. It's fucking great. I'd like to ask you about a discovery that I've made near Dragon Rock. It's probable that a heretical Sabbath occurred there because I found a dead girl in the middle of a circle, drawn most likely with human blood. The heart was taken over the body and a great black egg inserted instead. Do you happen to know what the meaning of this such a rite has? Oh, we have a black egg inserted in the place of a heart of a dead girl. Oh my god! What you just told me reminds me of the rite of invocation of Satan, as described by Saint Aquatius in the Trachite on Invocation of Satan and Other Infernal Minions. I haven't read that. I'm not surprised, Knight, for several centuries to be specific since the Third Council of Trenivia, it has been a forbidden book. Saint Aquatius devoted himself to the analysis of pagan and heretical rites during which heathens tried to make contact with hell and its creatures, and one of those rites is very similar to the one you've described to me. During the rite, a black cock's egg is inserted into the body of a dead girl, and after uttering the correct formulas, the gate connecting this world with their world of hell's bonds will open. It's hard to believe, don't you think? Hard to believe? Why do you think so, Knight? Nobody believed fire could rain instead of water, and lo, the rain of fire came upon us. I don't think we live in days when we may afford to doubt anything, Knight. I warn you, the ritual is as real as the rain of fire. Satan will come and bring any army with him to settle the score of this world. I had a dream, and my dreams have never lied. Well, Francis told me to talk to her, so now what the fake? All right, so let's talk to Jeremiah. Please accept my deepest apologies, son. I didn't believe that Judge Valerian could be guilty of thus I've considered your accusation to be false. I wasn't able to accept the fact that the infernal powers could corrupt anyone. You taught me a valuable lesson, which I'm going to remember to the day I die. 
I sincerely thank you for that. There's no need to apologize, Father. I'm not surprised you didn't believe Judge Larry to be guilty. Yes, indeed, it was difficult to accept the fact that a man I looked up to from where I've learned so many things should be just a shameless heretic, besmirching his name and plotting against the royal power. What are you going to do now, Father? I'm going to wait for the Inquisitors from the Gladsburg Carrier to arrive. I'm sure they'll send someone soon enough to investigate the situation and to decide what we should do. Nevertheless, although Judge Valerian and his accomplices were captured, there is much work left to be done. We live in evil times that constantly spawn new renegades who deserve our attention. I wish to accuse Lottie Frankman of heresy. Do you have enough evidence for that, son? Yes, I do. It's probable beyond doubt she is who cursed Frederick Rubstich, the town executioner. She was a lover of Hans Faulkner, who was executed by Rubstich not long time ago. The curse could be revenge for a death of her murderous lover. Um, your evidence seems convincing. I hereby accuse Frayer Lottie Frankmill of heresy. You have my consent to arrest her, son. Thank you. Time to arrest this bitch. Mary Frankmuller, I'm taking you into custody for well-grounded suspicion of the attempt to murder Frederick Robstick. You will come with me. I'm arrested? But how could it be so? It must be some kind of a mistake. I haven't done any harm to Master Robstick after all. Robstick the executioner was cursed by somebody. I have a reason to think it was you. Susan Brockner testified she caught you with Hans Faulkner. You were lovers. Thus, you have reason to hate the executioner, as it was whom you ex executed your lover. So you did find out. That surprises me quite a lot. I mean, usually you look like you're putting two and two together to get five. Yes, I curse that bastard. He deserved that. He executed Hans, my only true love. No one could understand Hans, only I. They all thought he was just a pervert and a murderer, but I loved him. No one can return him to me, but at least I can take my revenge. The executioner will die. You can rely on it. And you won't keep me from doing that because I'll kill you, motherfucker! Samurium da thumurium moset vi poradum radura! That's it. Crazy hooker. Crazy hooker tried to attack, mate. Oh, we got some funky wax doll. A wax figurine representing the execution of Frederick Krebstich. Although the figurine is formed out of soft piece wax and made by someone who can't even dream of art, there is no doubt that the statue represents the city's executioner of Hilbrandt. If someone who wanted to search for the purpose to which the figure was formed, he should start with the several pins sticking out of it, the place where normally there is a heart. Mm-hmm. Trying to do that voodoo. <sighs> Trying to do that voodoo. Let's go ahead and return to Frederick. See if we can help him. I have good news for you. I found out that Lottie Frankmiller cursed you for executing her lover, Hans. Lottie Frankmiller? Maid of the Duke? Oh my god, that's unbelievable. I thought she was quite a modest girl, and she revels in the powers of hell and even fornicated with that murderer, Hans Faulkner. That's terrible. However, I'm glad you revealed her, Sir Knight. What will you do with the bewitchment now? How can it be cancelled? It seems to me it's connected somehow with the statuette I found on Lottie, but I'm not sure what to do with it. Maybe you should ask Alan Woodrot, the herbalist, for advice. She knows more than anyone about these supernatural matters. Maybe I'll just break that shit. I 
I've canceled the curse already, good man. I've destroyed a cursed statue that Lottie Frank Miller controlled you with. You will be completely healthy in a few days. Oh, really? In case I'm saved. Thank you, Sir Knight. I owe you a lot. Don't forget what you've done for me. Here's a promise reward. You deserved it. Thank you. I'm glad it ended like that, good man. All right, busted out another level. We'll take it. Oh yeah, by the way, shield, use, journeyman, boom shakalaka. Start pumping up that uh, sturdiness as well. Level 23! Fantastical! Let's do some wrapping up. Never did get to fully explore the little troll cave down here. You go ahead and whip that ass. It's not a much. Turn to the mines and search the ghost cave that I pretty much skipped in the first video. Let's 
controls come back quick. Cut and paste us to the part in the mines where we fight the ghost. Save a little bit of video time here. Welcome back. Alright, we're in the mines here now. For those who uh, are worried about the levitation spell on uh, the broken bridge that lies over here, there's actually a secret door you can get to here. Uh, right there it is. Don't let the trap hit you in the ass, crack. You, Kim. I know you've been away for quite a long time. I'm almost starting to worry about you, but wait, you're not Joachim. You look like a knight. Blood and thunder, how did you find me here? I'm sorry for frightening you. I did not expect to find a man living here. For goodness sake, you scared me to death. I feared this cursed horse had found me. I thought nobody could discover this secret passage, but it seems I was wrong. Joachim and me have found somewhere safer, you know. Hiding from orcs means being wary all the time. Who is this Joachim you speak about? Joachim is a friend of mine. We worked here in the mines since we were young. That's one of the reasons why I know we're here like the back of my hand and why I've been able to keep out of the sight of the orcs. We started to run out of supplies lately, and Joachim decided to try stealing from the orcs or hunt down some bats, but he never returned. I greatly feel something has happened to him. Could you look for him? I have bad news for you, good man. Your companion perished and has become a living dead. What? No, I, I don't believe it. No one could kill Joachim. He's able to hide in shadows like no one else. I'm sorry, but it's true. I had to kill him, otherwise he would have had killed me. Alas, what have happened to poor Akim? He had to be found and married by Ox. I cast him a thousand times, but I thank you anyhow. Akim surely wouldn't want to live as a damned monster. May his soul find eternal peace. Amen. I sincerely thank you again for your help, Knight. Take this key as reward. You can surely use it. It's from an old gate leading to the deepest levels of the oil mine. May I speak with you for a moment? How have you managed to stay alive for so long here in the underground? How did I manage to stay alive here for so long? Because I know it better than anyone else. I know where to get water and how to obtain food. I know how and where to hide from the orcs and monsters. All that I was taught by my father. I learned by from my grandfather. I know it here better than on the surface. Why, I have spent most of my life here. Can you tell me about this mine? The iron mine is very old, Knight. It has been operating for more than a hundred years. My grandfather was one of the first miners that came to dig for the iron ore. Maybe that's why I know it here like the back of my hand. But the very few years of mining here has been quite a dangerous job. You've had to dig deeper and deeper from the ore. Now we're beginning the ceilings collapse from the walls tumbling down. I can't even count how many men died down here because of the cave-ins. And so I advise you die. Watch your step. I know what I'm talking about. One wrong step and no one will ever find you, not even the orcs. <laughs> Are well, there some legends or myths about the Iron Mine? Since my childhood, I've heard legends upon the pagan realm of Throne was to be found somewhere underneath the Moonshine Mountains. It is told of rich realm full of palaces built of gold and gemstones, but then a cursed flame come from somewhere deep dark when the orcs came and conquered Throne. Since the orcs, orcs supposedly have been waiting under the mountains till the cursed flame rises again and they follow him to destroy the world, don't you think, Knight, that this legend is scarily similar to the present reality? The Realm of Throne. Aren't those only stories for children? I don't think so. I found some of the things here in the Iron Mine that aren't creation of any man. Ancient things forgotten here long before we came. I believe the Realm of Thrawn existed and is buried somewhere deep. What is that cursed flame? I don't know. The legends are silent about that, but it has to be some ancient evil. Several legends from long ago refer to it. What do you know about the orcs? 
The orc's ugly beasts, believe me, I hate them. I hate them all down to the single orc. God damn them for all they've done. If I could, I would cut their throats by myself and would spit on them till their damn souls vanish in hell. Who would have their thought hiding here in the depths, locked away from the outside world, waiting for someone to set them free? In the end, all those legends and myths about pagan realms have turned out to be true. Too bad we live to see such bad times when the legends are coming to life and changing into nightmare. All this time you've been hiding here, you spoke to no one. Yes, I spoke to no one all this time I've been hiding. That is aside from Kim, of course. But the truth is that I heard human voices here several times. At first I thought there were soldiers from the town fighting orcs, but it was not so. Whoever it was had to be hand in love with the orcs. They talked as it seemed the orcs treat them with great respect. I've beaten my brains out vainly over who it could be. Who could do something so vile like collaborating with those infernal monsters? One would think something like that's not even possible. Thank you. Farewell. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna bust open your chest here. I hope you don't mind. Genie. Bunch of potions, another magical box. Sweet. I'll take it. Magical boxes are lifesavers. So, all that trouble with the levitation spell, and here was a secret passage the entire time. Farfinugan! We gotta go down another level or so. See you soon. Alright, so here we are back to that entrance to that infernal damn spirit place. All these doors here were locked. And still are. We'll be back when we break a door open. This could be interesting. These guys are still fairly strong. A lot stronger than the other shit I'm fighting. Of course, the three of them ganging up on us isn't going to be good. I have this mace that does damage against them. <clears throat> Rash gosh fist. Also got some new armor here, the Dragon Mantle, plus 13 strength, 13 intelligence. <clears throat> Dragon Mantle is a cursed relic made by the... Oh shit, it's cursed? Fuck my life. Should can take it right off. Cursed relic made by a dark prophet, Amatan. The skin of the last dragon was slain in the old world. Dragons were the creation of the beast offspring of the Dark Lord and the earthly emissaries of the fallen angels. They caused havoc wherever they roamed, slaughtering all living and taking all treasures. Then they retreated into the deep abysses and the murky caverns to sleep on the hoarded treasures, resting before they decided to go pillaging again. Many of the great saints were dedicated to killing those monsters, among others St. George, whose lance was blessed for the purpose by the archangel Gabriel himself. Dragon mantle is made of gold, silver, and steel dragon scales, which make it almost impenetrable by ordinary weapons. It's gained the magic properties from the dark powers that kept the dragon alive for many a millennium. Yeah, I said the armor class could be a lot better. Got a 
healing statue here. We'll use that to our advantage. I got some secret cash I found. I'll just ground my guys here and draw ghosties back to them. Follow me, ghosty, back to your doom. Just one at a time shouldn't be bad. door. Looks like the ghost just respawned here. safe than sorry. That's what I always say. I believe we have some more arrows here to equip. <clears throat> Thy steps, mortal. May thy pace be none. I see thou art no orc. I hereby ask thee, what dost thou seek in the domains of mine? These domains are my realm, and thou lackest the privilege to enter, lest I allow it. Who are you, unclean spirit? What infernal spell brought you to our world? I am neither unclean, nor a phantom mortal. I am a soul cursed to wandering after the death of its body. Uh -uh. I have been dwelling here in my domain for more than five millennia, struggling in vain to escape and to get to the ancestral halls. Though my megalomania bowed me here to this world, where neither I nor my kin belong. All my brethren were gone millennia ago. <laughs> I am Halia, the last great king of thrones beneath the mountains. The last king of thrones? Indeed, mortal. I was king of the great Thrawn Empire, which was spreading deep at the roots of these mountains. It was in times of yore when the ancient gods walked this very earth and fought their battles by our side. Lo, such magnificent days they were when the nation flourished. Those were the days of building, abundance, and of glory. Woe, then fire and despair came from the bowels of the earth in the wake of cursed flame, being followed by slaves of his, orcs. 
May their kin in its entirety be cast out of the halls of damnation, and may the body of their cursed Ron Grashkar be laid down into the rift of eternal torment! They came being commanded by their lord to destroy everything my people had built. Nothing remained. Only my hatred in which I swore not to leave this domain of mine unless liberated from the bondage of Rashkar and his accursed orcish kin. Is there a way to remove your curse, King? Indeed. If only Rashkar dies, then it only I will be liberated from my curse, and I could embark on a journey to the ancestral halls, as its gates has remained closed to me after this death of mine. The Orcish King Rashkar is dead. I slayed him. Thou a successful mortal? I can feel my curse is shattered in my soul. Starts ascending up into the endless stairs of the ancestral halls. Thy name shan't be forgotten, mortal. For your courage, take this reward as the last gift of King Hallior from beneath the mountains. Farest thou well, mortal. May the gods bless the steps of path thou walks. May you find eternal peace, one in Farewell. G -g -g Give me your shit. Another genie box. We are protected with g g genie boxes, and you saw how powerful the genie boxes are. They're fucking powerful. Anyways, folks, that wraps it up for this bit of Inquisitor. Stay tuned as we go into Act 2. Thanks for watching.